Hello and welcome to this video. We're going to be talking about mechanism today. So I've installed all the different types of mechanism stuff. And oh, there's four different mechanism mods. You've got tools, generators, additions, and the main mod. So here's tools. So you can see, get various different shields um, with obviously different durabilities. Obsidian looks pretty good. Uh, we've also got uh, paxels as well. And that looks to be about it from the tool side of things. Osmium is a key material that is added by mechanism. Then we also have the additions. So here we get uh, plastic blocks and glow plan panels, uh, obsidian TNT as well. Uh, and also we see the addition of baby creepers, skeletons, and strays. Stray, skeleton, with a skeleton, and creeper. Okay. Uh, then we have the generators mod as well. Generators adds a few different things like the wind generator. So these are all pretty uh, advanced solar generators. These are like large multi-block structures. And, and then we have the uh, turbine stuff as well, which is kind of later. And then fusion reactors as well. So yeah. So like most things, it would just be use a load of these things and then put a, few, put a port and a controller in. Uh, so there's lots of like, interesting blocks in this mod. Uh, we can take a look at these things. So that's that. You can see there's the output. And they're all... And they have their own little sounds to it. They even animate on the uh, item, which is kind of cool. Uh, armor set, heat, solar, gas, uh, biogenerator. Uh, if we look at the... So for instance, this needs biofuel. One of the uh, important things that, you, that a lot of uh, things rely on is this, the pressurized reaction chamber. Uh, and we can look at the recipes, right? So when we look at the pressur pressurized reaction chamber, you can see water and oxygen, so in general, you want to get like oxygen, you want to get hydrogen, you want to get ethylene. They are, this was a thing because of the gas nature of them, but I think everything is, uh, it depends, like end -IO conduits can be used for this sometimes. Uh, and here's polonium. So to get, uh, to get uh, oxygen, then you're going to need an electrolytic separator. And to do that, you tend to do, this is an interesting one. So flint can be converted from flint to oxygen, osmium to liquid osmium. Kind of an interesting uh, conversion that. So essentially, if you've got a load of gravel, you can convert flint to oxygen very easily. And of course, that's salt, yeah. And you get sulfuric acid as well quite easily. Okay, hydrofluoric. So this is another important thing. Oh yeah, dirty slurry, and then it become clean slurry, yeah. And then that gets you crystals. Which gets you shards. Gets you clumps. If you look in here, you can basically add upgrades here. So for instance, you could have a speed upgrade up to eight, I believe. You've got speed muffling, which is just turns the, the volume off. So if you put the speed upgrades like that, see they go in and you get up to eight. And then what you're going to want to do is also put in energy upgrades. And they appear there, right? And even if you, if you, even if you're doing this, they actually, it's actually uh, still going. Right. And you can see as they put the upgrades in, the usage will change. So it now needs 8,000 RF. So, now you have side config. So here you have fluid energy items. Look at that. It's got like a whole radio wheel. That's cool, right? 
So you can basically choose what you want it to do. So if you wanted to, probably in this situation, you want it to be a wrench. Oh, well, look at that though. That's cool. 